Hey guys, it's Brian, and today I'm going to show you how to install aircraft, scenery, plugins, FMS plans, and liveries for your aircraft. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come to your web browser. Now I'm going to go to the best place to go to get anything, uh, X-Plane related, www.xplane.org. Now this place is amazing. It has a lot to offer aircraft-wise, scenery-wise, and plugin-wise, as well as liveries. Alright, so if I come into here and I find aircraft, explain 10 aircraft, here's one, the Eagle Eye Model 18. So I'm going to go ahead and get onto the download page for it. Now I have no idea what this aircraft is, I'm literally looking at this for the first time. But what you can do is you can look at the screenshots. If you come down here, you can see a couple screenshots. Looks alright, doesn't look like a fantastic plane. Um, but maybe it'll be fun to fly, I don't know. And so, you'll see this page. Now this page is all, it's generally instructional, how to install it. Um, gives a description of the plane, uh, maybe how the guy made it, something like that. It varies from download to download. But what you're going to go ahead and want to do is click the download button, the big green button. And you're going to see you got a little file down here or wherever your browser downloads to. So I'm going to go ahead and click that to unzip, and you see I've got a folder. Now this is the plane in file form. If you look, i got some PNGs that are everything about the plane. This is what tells X-Plane what the plane is. So I'm going to go ahead and open my X-Plane 10 folder, and I'm going to see that I have an aircraft folder. You should be familiar with this, because when you load up X-Plane, you get the aircraft folder, all these subfolders, and that's where you find your plane. Now I've organized this myself in a way I like it. And let's say this Eagle Eye model. Let's put that in the let's put that in the X planes folder. I know it's probably not one, but I don't really know what this aircraft is. So you want to drag the entire folder, the entire Eagle Eye model 918, into the subfolder of your choosing. And now X plane can read it. So that's how you successfully install an aircraft. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install scenery. So I'm going to come back on here. I'll go back to my download section. Once it loads, I'm going to look on the side here for scenery. Um, and I want, I want a scenery package. So here are a bunch of airports. They all have free on it. Um, let's just going to try this Shannon Airport. E-I-N-N. -N. Uh, again, you get all these photos. Um, oh, this actually looks pretty nice. Um, and you get those um, instructions. Uh, a lot of times people will say what they've changed in updates. But again, go ahead and just click that download button. You'll get a zip file. Unzip it. And you'll get a folder. Now this is what the X-Plane reads for the scenery. It's got the earth data. Um, and all the buildings and such are in here. So what I'm going to do is go back into my X-Plane folder. Now this is where a lot of people make a mistake. You want to make sure you go into custom scenery instead of global scenery. What happens if you go into global scenery and replace it, you'll never be able to get that global scenery back unless you saved it in another folder, but that just gets complicated. Whereas if you put it in the custom scenery folder, it simply overrides the global scenery. However, if you delete this custom scenery, you can always go back to the default. So again, I'm just going to drag this entire folder, Shannon, into my custom scenery folder, and now that's ready to be used. So now I'm going to show you how to install a plugin. I've gone through my download section into utilities and I found the plugin I want called Simple Pushback. This video was featured or this plugin was featured in my 7 X-Plane must have pl plugins. Um it's a great plugin. I highly recommend it. And you can read through it. This one's just got a cute little drawing as the uh picture of it, no actual pictures. And I see that it supports Windows, Linux, and Mac. It's universal, which is great. A lot of plugins will only be for Windows or only be for Mac or only be for Linux. You want to make sure it works for your operating system. Verify that in this description. It's usually there. I'm going to go ahead and click the download button. Get a zip. Unzip it. Come into your x 10 folder. And what you're going to do is you're going to come down to the Resources folder, then the Plugins folder. And now in the um, downloaded folder you're gonna find 
three or depending on what operating system it works for just your one folder for your operating system I'm on Mac I'm gonna go ahead and click Mac Universal and I get two files a dot INI and a dot XPL I'm gonna take both of them and drag them into my plugins folder now I've already got them here so I'm just gonna replace both of them because I'm already using this plugin but now they're installed and that's set you've got a plugin alright so now I'm gonna show you how to install liveries for aircraft which is the uh, um, it's aircraft skins you can, you can see that's right here in the downloads bar I'm gonna go ahead and click on that aircraft skins um, I'm gonna download one for the 787 it's a plane I use a lot as you've probably seen in my videos and I really like it again just verify it looks good you like what it looks like I actually really like that so I'm gonna go ahead and download that I'm gonna download and again you can see instructions are right here for how to install it um, I don't know if that's just downloaded there it is. I'm going to download, unzip. You can see I get a folder called Check Airlines. And I'm going to go ahead into my X Plane 10 folder, Aircraft. This is where you have to find the plane, which I know for me it's in commercial. And I have Boeing 787 pushback. And then generally in the Aircrafts folder, you're going to find one that says Liveries. Now mine's already pretty full of some. A lot of these came with it. I've downloaded a few. And you're just going to drag your new di newly downloaded one into it and now that's fully functional if you go into it you'll see that you'll have all these options and you'll have check airlines right there click on it reopen the plane and boom you've got your change delivery finally I'm going to show you how to install a flight plan an FMS flight plan using sim routes um, I have a more in-depth tutorial on sim routes if you want to check that out that'll actually bring you into X plane show you how to plug it in through that um, this is just going to show you how to install it what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find a um, flight plan I don't know exactly where I'm gonna be flying let's say I want to do uh, let's say I'm just gonna do Dallas Fort Worth to uh, O'Hare just a flight like that there it is there's one I'm gonna go ahead and click on that route um, the link the route right there is gonna be blue click on that it'll bring you to another page now I've known sim routes to be pretty slow actually there it goes um, so just be patient with it it's a great program if it ends up working so uh, make sure you select what aircraft you're going to be flying because I don't actually plan on flying this I'm just going to leave it here at the 767 and make sure X-Plane is clicked on download flight plan and once it's installed you can go ahead and click on it that will just open it up in finder I guess it won't okay I'm going to go into finder downloads um... got a lot of downloads here gonna find it it was generally starts with K because that's generally the start of all airports there it is KDFW K ORD so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my X plane folder I'm gonna come into output FMS plans and you see I've already got a bunch of them in here and I'm just gonna drag and drop KDFW K O R D dot FMS into this now you can load it up on your flight computer and everything should work fine